Hi, my name is Ken Fernandez. And I'm Jordan. And welcome to my channel, Gamers Genie. Today, we're going to continue and possibly finish our gameplay on the game Cascadia. I think we do. We have very good start in the last video, but we shall see what this round's going to be like. <laughs> yep. Um, now, I do, I do uh, have the advantage because I have played this game more times than Jordan. Mm -hmm. But in this game, it's really not that bad because it's like you really have to decide how you want to make your habitat. And that's basically the only thing that matters. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how skilled someone is at this game. Um, in my opinion, mm -hmm. it just matters on, you know, how you're going to do that. Because it's not like, oh, well, I have to put this here, I have to put this here. You just kind of need to follow the directions on the cards that you have laid out for you. Um, but, yeah. So, with that being said, let's go to the table and begin our possibly final gameplay on Cascadia. Cascadia. Okay, so, uh, pick it up from where we left off, I believe it's... My turn? Yeah, it was your turn. Okay. Um, so I am going to take... Place this here. Place this there. Okay. I'm going to take this elk. I place this tile here, and I'm going to place this elk here, and then I get this. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so put this here. Put this there. I get another nature token. Okay. I'm going to use the nature token to mix and match. So I'm going to take this elk and I'm going to take this tile. Okay. I will also do the same thing. Because I want the mountain. There we go. And uh, token from the bag. Bear. Okay. This isn't over. Bears. Okay, dokey. Uh, I decided that I. For a goal I'm trying to meet, I'm going to clear all these four out. Uh, you can only do either the two bears or the two... Oh, you're right, you're right. I'll do the... Hawks. Two bears. Thank you for reminding me. Take the elk in this tile. Okay. I'm going to take this tile. There we go. I'll clear these hawks. <sighs> okay. I'll take this salmon and this tile.
Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do. No way, I didn't use it for that. That was a free thing. A stitch in my rig. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. take this and this. I'm gonna put this here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this here. So I'm going to take this box and this tile, going to here, and then I'm going to put the fox here, and then I get another nature token. Put that tile right there, I'll put that right there, and I get a nature token. Okay, I'm going to take this elk and this tile, and here, and there. Okay. Okay. So. Play. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm just thinking what I should grab. That's all it is. Okay, I'm going to take this box and this tile, place it here, and then play the, actually I'm going to put the box here. Yeah, it's double-sided, thankfully. Because we're going to need that. Yep. Okay. So it's your turn. Oh no, we're done. No, we're done? Okay, I have my Because we can't refill it. You're right. So this is the end. Okay. This is the end. Okay. Take it out of my calculator because I'm pretty sure we're going to do a lot of math with this game. Okay, so first we start with the wildlife scorecards. For each, each player score each wildlife based on the wildlife scorecards used in the game. So we'll start by the first one, which is the bass. Okay, I have... Two sets of bears. Okay, so you get 11 points. Okay. And I also get 11 points. Okay, next thing is the elks. So, you have... I have five here, but I know it so can that's only 13 go up to points. 13, yeah. And I also have 13 points. And I have a set of two here, so technically I have 18 I also I... have 13 points. Okay. It's all rows. All rows? Okay. Yes. Now salmon. Salmon, uh, zero for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I get 20. 20, okay. 20 points. Uh, now we get the hawks. Two for me. Three That'll for be five. me, which is eight. And then the fox. I have... I have a two, one, three. and I have a three, and a two. One. So, so would that mean I have six points for a set of one, set of two, and set of three? Let me, uh, let me double that check. That box always been confusing to me for some reason. Let me double check the fox. Yep. That'd be a good idea. Okay, so score or for adjacencies to other animals. Foxes score either individually or in pairs. If each fox pair is 
independently scored. Okay, so I have. So there are animals adjacent. Three. To the box. Okay. For here, which is three, but I have three here, That's which is six. six, and I only have one here, so seven. Seven. Okay. So I got one here, one here. So I have. You count foxes. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can Duh, see you okay. can count other foxes. Oops. Okay. So I have three here, four, three here. So it's, wait. I am confusing myself. Just bear with me. Um, you did the same thing last when you time. Played down force. Yes, I know. I hate. Do I, I don't know why two. You're trying to own. add extra rules. No. Okay, so it's at least three animals surrounding the fox and clawing on another fox. Okay, so you can't. So you can't count these two elks. You have to no. count one of the two elks, but you can count the two foxes. Yeah. Surrounding it. So since you put three foxes adjacent, that means you have to count two mm -hmm. foxes for each one. Okay. So technically, I have four surrounding this fox. Okay, yeah, because you have one fox, mm -hmm. one salmon, one bear, bear. and one elk. Mm -hmm. So that is four points. Four points. Okay. Okay. And then with this guy here, I got three. Okay. So that's seven. Seven. And this guy, no, there's not more. Wait, it can surround more than one. Okay. That's two. Two. So. That's two points. Uh, four, seven... Nine. Okay. And then we up the toll here and then, like, for this part, right? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so... So far, at least. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next we have to do habitat tiles. Yes. Each player score for each player score one point per habitat tile in their largest continuous habitat corridor group of connected habitat type in each of the five habitats: mountains, forests, prairies, and Wait, wetlands and rivers. So, we see how many connected mountains we each have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's my largest continuous mountain. Okay, and then for me it's one, two, two. So you get two no matter what. Yeah. Okay, then we gotta do um, yeah. forests. So I have a connected forest of four. I have two. And then we do um, prairies. And so my largest prairie is three. Okay, so for me it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Sorry, four. <laughs> four for you? Yeah. Okay. White lands. So that's three. That's my largest continuous. I one. have four. What that? And then the oceans, uh, rivers. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two for me. Okay. And then yours is seven. seven. Okay. So now. Then we add the total from. The first set with they sets. According to player count, score bonus mm -hmm. points for for having the largest continuous habitat corridor for each of the five habitats. Use the number recorded on the score pad from step two to determine who gains the bonus points. Okay. Two bon in a two-player game, two bonus. 
two bonus points to the player with the largest habitat corridor in each habitat type. If tied, only one each. No bonus points for the second. Okay. Okay. So who has the largest mountains? You. So I get two points. Mm -hmm. Then who has the largest forest? Yep. That's two points. Two, two, and two. Okay, now we add all those. Uh, then I believe we add up all those points. Okay, doggy. A lot of silence. And then uh, nature, nature tokens. tokens. You score one point for each unused. So I have four points. I have four too. Okay, so all together. All right, 93 to 67. That gives me the victory. Well, um, that, that's it. Uh, I'm the winner of the game, uh, according to our score sheet. And, of course, I didn't score very well. I, I honestly know I did decently with this game, but it's just, it's kind of hard. Like, I was trying to pay attention to the how the, each animals are scored, and I'm trying to achieve some of those points, but then some I'm like, yeah, I didn't get any points. Like for the salmon, I did not score any for the salmon, which I'm like mad about, but I mostly got the elk um, for score-wise. You got so. no run. One of the funny things I always find about this game, though, is um, the different tiles have like odd places for things to show up like mm -hmm. you have a plains um tile but a salmon goes there yeah and yeah because the tile says so and i have a plains and forest but a salmon can go there and i have just a plains and a salmon goes there i'm like what what's up with these salmon <laughs> it's just showing up in random places it could be they could be dying of thirst as far as we know <laughs> yeah it's like it's kind of weird it's just funny to me, um, but I think that's um, I think that's kind of one of the, the bits of the charm about it. They're not, you know, that's that's why you don't have to think that much about what goes where. Mm -hmm. Put a lot of that, put a lot of strategy into the game. You can actually just kind of be like, oh, this goes, mm -hmm. this might go here, this might go here. Mm -hmm. um, but that, that, that's that's pretty interesting. This is definitely um, kind of growing in my uh, favorite games list, mm -hmm. just for how like calming it is and how non-competitive it is. So if I really want to relax or something like that, this is definitely a game I bring to the table to um, to just uh, kind of relieve stress after a rough day. Oh yeah, the, uh, last time I played this game was with my family and your dad was just teaching us. I forgot about that. And yet, my mom won, who always says that she has no idea what she's doing, and then she wins at the end. Just like my sister when it comes to luring board games. Sorry, I was just reflecting the last time I played this game. And well, boy, I lost hard on that round, too. So, but, but of course, Kevin and I always keep up that um, sportsmanship in these four games anyway. Yep. So if you like Jordan's rambling, please give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell to be notified for more Jordan ramblings just like <laughs> this one. And be on the lookout for our next how to play video, which right now I do not know what that is. Uh, we still have a poll going on. But um, you'll find out sooner than later. Yeah, we have a poll going on currently as we are filming this. The poll will be done by the time this is out on Monday, which is today. Mm -hmm. Today. <laughs> today is Tuesday, but you know, uh, as you are watching it, it's it is Monday. Monday. So, you know, happy Monday to you guys. <laughs> um, but anyways. Unless you're Garfield. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, be on the lookout for our How to Play video. But until then, thanks, thanks for, for the, the views. views.